many people, they want to be their own lawyer. And there's different, there's even a kiosk, I think, in the courts. And there's different ways to get forms online. Should you settle your own divorce if you're relatively simple? I would never do such a thing. There are uh, 16 documents in a divorce. There are several fees that you pay in different times to the clerks. There's different service and notice issues, as well as you have to write the judgment for the judge. I don't know if people knew that. Uh, this is not something that people should do on their own. In fact, if you don't know whether or not daycare is included in child support or anything about holidays are usually split up, you're going to fail if you have children and you're going to court on your own unless you are more amicable than anyone. Here's how you figure out if you're more amicable than anyone. You just ask your spouse, how much are you going to pay for child support? If they give you a number and you're okay with it, then maybe you can go to your own court. What do you think? People go to their own court? How's that going to work out? I think most people don't know what they don't know. And you really need to have someone who knows what they're doing and knows the ins and outs and can pick up um, in a second when something is not laid out the right way or it's bad language or it hurts them. It hurts, it hurts the other side and protects you or the other way around. You, you, need to, you need to really have someone know what they're looking at to tell you if you're getting a good deal or not. Absolutely, I would never sleep at night if I did my own case and I, I didn't know the law to the letter because there are so many ways to mess up on this one. Who's going to claim the children and their taxes? Or if you didn't have any children, what if your spouse had intellectual property, had an idea or a contract coming? What about the past? Are you gonna get any credit for stuff that you think you should get credit for? What is separate property? All of these things. They evolve and they change. When I started this practice and when I started as a divorce lawyer, the entire, everything was different. It wasn't computerized and the entire process was different. It changes all the time. I don't think anyone who's not a lawyer could do a divorce. It involves a closing, it involves uh, pleadings, specific agreements, and then a judgment. And you'll never split your retirement accounts unless you're a lawyer as well. That's that could right. be a good thing for some people though, but. I don't think it's feasible for almost anyone. I don't, I don't suggest it because there are so many things that you don't know going in about what you think you're entitled to that you may not be, mm -hmm. what you are entitled to that you thought you weren't, and you need someone who, who knows their way around, as you were just saying, what, what's separate, what's not. Absolutely. And sometimes I do a trick with, for consults, I show them how if you change one word in a 35 page agreement, you will drastically affect their lives. I mean, what's the difference between guilty and not guilty? That's a word, right? It's a lot of words in yes. divorce. <laughs> Shall and may mean oh, very that's a good different things. Merge or survive. If an agreement merges, it's totally different than surviving. And if you didn't know that, you shouldn't be your own lawyer.